and welcome to the another season of the Beyond the Score podcast. Uh, we bring you the first episode of 2022 20th season straight from our studios. Uh, in this podcast, we bring you the views and the opinion of those in the news brought to you by Khel Now. I am your host Ashish Negi. Uh, today we have with us very special guest. Uh, considering what's going on in Indian football, I think it's it's important that we you know we hear the views and opinions of Mr. Sajid Parvakaran. Who is currently uh, president of Football Delhi? We will come into the the part where uh, viewers and listeners want to get into AFF and Indian football. Before that, I want to go to Football Delhi. Uh, that's a challenge I think you took a couple of years back. Uh, how it is going? Um, I've been seeing. Uh, of course, uh, people don't consider Delhi as a, a footballing state anymore. Uh, I have been I've been living in this city or state, you can say, for last six seven years. I kept on saying one thing: Delhi is like a mini India anymore. New Delhi, especially uh, the football, uh, the legacy of football in Delhi is old Delhi. How much uh, uh, you can could have changed in last couple of years? This, you know, uh, the Ambedkar Stadium and the old Delhi and the Chandni Chowk and the people sitting there. Uh, still, we don't have a normal ISL club from Delhi again. So, the way Delhi has come into I League. Of course, you have taken lots of initiative with the uh, football Delhi Senior Pro League. There is a uh, the two more leagues happening below it. You know, as a as a pathway, as a structure, the girls and the youth tournaments. There are some critical people of it. Whatever decision, the trials and lots of stuff. And uh, this the episode is it's not of course going to fully focus on that. But I would just want to take how you can sum up your journey till now, the challenges uh, of taking this post and. Uh, the reason you took this post, have you able to fulfill those reasons? Have you able to justify yourself that you have able to change a football landscape in Delhi? I see, uh, like uh, I was never prepared that you know I'll be one day you know contesting an election and I'll be in this position. But then it's all happened because we few friends uh, bought a club in Delhi. Delhi United, and that also. Was not planned. It all of a sudden happened because you know, uh, just we took a decision in 30 minutes to buy the club, and uh, uh, and then when we uh, you know started managing the club because we were playing for the second division league and we were preparing and then uh, we were you know struggling in many ways yeah and then we could expose to the local football. And then we realized, uh, like, who, why somebody should fund us? Why uh, you know, we won't be able to uh, take the food, take the our club to a different level? There are many challenges, and uh, there are, and in that context, so we, I thought, okay, you know, uh, there's something need to be done, and uh, we need to, you know, get into the system rather than we you know be outside and criticize and you know at the end criticism is easy to do uh, but uh, until unless you have a solution and the solution can only come when you get into the system and uh, try to understand what are the real problems and then you know try to see what you can do so then this decision we took and very suddenly, you know, then the opportunity came for election and I put my name and luckily I can say, you know, I won the election and that was 2017, November 19. And uh, yeah, it's, I knew uh, what I'm stepping into. It's not easiest thing what I have ever done. And it's the most challenging uh, thing what I'm going to do. And it was the same because I went with an expectation of facing challenges, facing hurdles, all that. And, and, but the good thing is, you know, like in spite of all challenges, we have taken steps and we are moving forward. Yeah? And, and what is important to understand is that we have 90 odd clubs in Delhi. And out of those 90 odd clubs, Many of them are hardcore football people who might have invested their life savings into you know their club, and they don't get anything out of the the money they invest. They what they get is the happiness, you know, satisfaction. satisfaction. And there are you know ninety percent are 
that level of people and what they needed is you know the right kind of uh, guidance uh, at, you know and a belief that we can go forward uh, and do something and we you know made a strategy as a team and we never had a you know full time staff we nothing was there so it was like i'm jumping into a you know a sea it was like that where you have to find uh, you know uh, like a uh, uh, you know in that rough sea uh, for your survival uh, and there were many in the sea it was not like you know i being a president and i am only in the sea you know in a rough sea but the good thing is that many people wanted the change it's and considerable number and they all came together and we have a good understanding with all of them that this need to be changed and that's how we could oh, it's it was like a startup situation in some way but then uh, you also have to demolish many things yeah like it was a kind of a 10 times of your startup challenges and you would know you know being you also started as a startup and the challenges are you know big and when there are challenges have, every day yeah and in association kind of scenario you just have to add 10x or 100x yeah. and and but when i when i i am there as my name you know and the expectation is also very high but then you have to be realistic you know, and we prioritize the, and then you know then you also have hurdles you take decision but then uh, you know there are people who won't be happy with the decision but then what you do you have to bring them uh, to you know make them understand because like you know, like few decade maybe one or two decade Uh, the leagues were not happening on time you know there were a lot of things i remember where, delhi's uh, league always used to be late by one year so <laughs> if it is 2022 the league which is going was 2021 or 2020 league the one year late the league used to take place 4 5 years ago so so what yeah, what see, happened in under a tenure how see, much you were able to like, change yeah it? see i would say only my own goals i have achieved maybe 20 to 30% not you know even hard so i am not satisfied in the way we have you know because see there were challenges the bigger challenge came when things were moving right the covid hit COVID, us covid has and see the challenges here is the the clubs have all we are working as a team but now you need resources in delhi whatever you have to do you need a you know five uh, time more resources than a maybe a northeast state so because nothing comes free here everybody who is putting their one minute you know, they want return even the players want return uh, so that's a sinner so but the good thing is we focused in key priority areas like okay i have you know we focused how we can have a, a administration you know full time staff where you are not dependent on you know say you only work after 6 pm because you know, that way you cannot run football so we have now nine full time staff working you know day and night and that and then we focus on the grassroots okay bring the grassroots the women's was our one of the major priorities and then you know streamlining the activities like say we have five tier league now and we have started c division fresh and a top also to so like the bottom of the pyramid or top of the pyramid is the two new things and this year our premier league will be like you know the best maybe if whatever we are planning uh, which is starting with 11 teams and we also have a one direct entry team you know which has come through bidding process and if somebody is going you know putting that of money want to be part of delhi therefore they might have seen something good happening therefore they invested that So that way but then you no know, we have you know long way to go yeah and because the system is still in the development process and what uh, my vision is to become a model state uh, where we have you know from under 5 to the senior level structure and we have you know that and we are soon launching our golden league which we don't call baby league because we started in on uh, 18th july 2018 uh, 
uh, the Golden League, the Grassroot League. And we had at that time 176 teams. And then the second year we had more than 230 team. And then the COVID struck, we could not. This year we are planning more than with 350 plus team. And we also have a title sponsor now for the Golden League. So that way we want to engage and that would be launched on 24th July. So our focus is how we can you know, engage more playing population from a very early age and how we develop the club uh, so that the club is connected with the community. And at the end, we should have players like Sunil Chetri you know, is the product of uh, you know his own product. But then he has gone from Delhi. And we always, you know, he's, he's our one of the, you know, inspiration. And that's how we uh, celebrate his, his birthday, birthday as yeah. Delhi Football Day. And, uh, and you know, the so women's, we have the biggest league uh, with 22 teams. And hats off to all the clubs because, you know, they, earlier there were three, four clubs uh, used to put the women's, women's team. team. But now many and it's very encouraging. But the problem is, we need to have a clear pathway. The pathway can only come, you know, when all the, stakeholders, all the stakeholders are working together. And we don't have a, you know, player development as such. So, therefore, I'm focusing that also. The funding is a problem. And uh, where uh, the government or some CSR uh, funding, to where for women's only we want to create the path. You know, because Dalima, Aditi, um, you know, Avika, uh, you know, Samuel, all came, you know, are the product of Delhi. Yeah? So therefore, there are talents. But what their missing part is the competitive environment, also the training part. So we are trying to put that across. So we are hopeful that more girls will be able to come forward from Delhi and they will be able to reach uh, to India team and they might play for uh, biggest clubs in India as well. Uh, but you know, at the same time, like how we can develop referees, better referees, because our, our Delhi referees are you know, comparatively better. And they're doing better. But then we want to see mo much more pool, uh, you know, bigger pool of referees coming from Delhi and better uh, referees as well. So that, that also our, is our focus. And we want to, now we're launching a project which already launched to club development project where, where we want to link the, each club to a locality. They don't say, everybody will say, I am a Delhi club. No, I, we want to see you are a GK based club or a Chitranjan Park or a, uh, or a Dwarka based club. So that's how you can link up with the local community. But that would take, you know, it's a four year project and 16 clubs have opted for it. And they given a one, two, three locality. So we will be working with them. So we would need certain mentors because we want, you know, external people to come and guide them. Uh, that way they will able to, uh, you know, maybe they will be open to learn. They may be open to, you know, do things where, uh, you know, they will be more receptive. And that is what way we want to develop. But, you know, overall, I, that what I say, you know, is work in progress. And commercially, you know, our revenue is all co only coming from sponsors. And... Uh, you running the organization, I'm sure you know how much football can attract the sponsorship. So this is one of the biggest challenges. See, we are not funded from by government, not by the federation. So for us, each match will cost from you know, 6,000 rupees to uh, 40,000 rupees, depending upon whether what are the elements you use. If you live stream it, with maybe two cameras, three cameras, it will go up from 30 to 40,000 rupees per match. So that is the level of investment, uh, the resources we require. Uh, uh, this year, uh, I'm very hopeful that we will have better sponsorship scenario, better revenue, and that way we will be able to do more activities. And uh, we want to be as transparent as possible. We have improved our governance structure also. Uh, we, we have uh, reviewed our constitution. We have, you know, much better, uh, uh, say, in terms of governance. But that also we need to improve further going forward and build the capacity in the system. So therefore, holistically, we are working. The results will only come, you know, maybe when I am not there. If 
you know, there is a continuity of the structure system what we are trying to build. So we are focusing on the foundation, building the fundamentals. And uh, I am quite sure being a capital city, uh, the uh, football in Delhi will be vibrant in five to seven years time. I think you sum up very well. Uh, two things point out more, I want to point out is that as an organization with zero employees, uh, members doing most of the work, having seven to eight, nine full-time employees on salaries, itself an achievement for a state federation. I think I'm not sure how many state federation will have these many employees on salary. Uh, that's one thing. Another thing, I want, of course, the leagues and structure. But a couple of uh, questions I will be critical of, which I want to ask is uh, Durant Cup, was was kind of the mar marquee event in Delhi and Delhi football that's went away from Delhi. How much effort you have put in to bring back Durand Cup to the Ambedkar Stadium? It's real home, I will say. Uh, people from Kolkata might call me bias or they might, you know, not like this opinion. But I think Durand Cup is the uh, Delhi is the home of the Durand Cup. So how much effort you have put to bring back Durand Cup to the Ambedkar Stadium? Yeah, first of all, we have to understand Durand Cup itself lost its way. Uh, and they were looking for different homes. And uh, what happened, uh, somebody who was uh, managing the Durant Cup was responsible. It's a, it's, a, it's a society where we are the also the member of that society. But then we, one of the sudden we hear that uh, they have par partnered with the local government uh, in Bengal that they will be there for five years. But then we uh, we were invited for the meeting for the uh, since I became the president for the first time uh, last year. And uh, then we said that Duran Cup real home is Delhi, and it has a fabulous legacy. Uh, you ask any player of 90s, uh, you know, they will say that uh, what they got uh, playing Duran and what Delhi football uh, got being you know hosting Durand uh, that's something what we need and uh, we can work together and we again wrote to them this they, they had a general body meeting I could not attend but then general secretary went and uh, we also wrote a letter saying that Durand should be in Delhi and maybe it can be one of the venue if you are already and they're time. exploring far and Kolkata yes. so maybe they can host final yeah, in Delhi or something absolutely like I we said we had given a strong reason to them because see Delhi is the power center yeah and their headquarter is also Delhi and uh, and uh, the history and uh, see, we being the part of uh, Durand Society, Durand Cup Society, we want to bring back Durand Cup because that way uh, you know, we can give a lot of value to the community locally. And that way our local club will also be, to play. You know, encouraged to you know, uh, put more effort, more energy at a local level. And, uh, and that way, strategically, also, for Durant uh, Cup to happen in Delhi, commercially also it is better. So we said we can be part of that uh, process even to bring in sponsor, even to manage uh, uh, the competition because we have developed certain capacity in our system, which is uh, you know far significantly better compared to what we were ten years back. So therefore, kindly look at look at us in a different perspective. And uh, getting a sponsor for Durant, it won't be a difficulty if we have a long-term strategy and uh, we can get it done. So that way, you know, we are working with them. Maybe we will succeed one day, but then uh, you know, it's a great loss to Delhi, no doubt. And uh, we would like to see Durant Cup uh, back to Delhi as soon as possible and Ambedkar Stadium uh, gets its life back, which is very important. And uh, uh, Federation also has not hosted any games the last five years in Delhi. Delhi so, yeah. And that also doesn't help being a capital city uh, like in uh, different, uh, you know, in any country, capital city are never discouraged or uh, no, is not away from the prime actions. 
and uh, i'm sure maybe the new dispensation when comes in power in the all india football federation uh, therefore they will work very closely with delhi because as a strategy uh, it helps the game to grow because whatever happens good in capital uh, it can energize at a village level also because capital sets an example and headquarters of aiff is also in delhi so therefore the local association and the federation have to work hand in hand uh, for football development and whatever uh, need to be done it need to be done in close collaboration and durand cup can be you know one of the way to energize football uh, in delhi and you touch about ambedkar stadium that's another second critical question i have also have for you uh, as i of course gk dwarka you know uh, kalka ji this is new delhi this is not the delhi these are not delhiites people these are people from all over india just like me just like you living here i'm not sure how much we can connect emotionally with uh, the delhi brand you know uh, because at a heart we are somewhere from somewhere else uh, i am told i have seen uh, the old delhi especially when you go around chandni chowk jama masjid there are people who love football they might not be aware of isl but if they they have told there's a game at ambedkar stadium you will find those people in the stands doing their own game playing their you know, watching football i have seen that uh, when indian arrows used to play uh, in the i league you know and uh, there was a good crowd uh, not just were the blue play games or the normal fans there were the local delhiites people so how much as a federation you have done to evolve that uh to take game to those people and second of my question is ambedkar stadium itself is an a big question mark uh one of the historic football ground in india football specific ground in india uh what is latest with that uh, we heard of all the renovation stands tv broadcasting issue can the ambedkar stadium be made the ideal football stadium in india is it possible uh two ways uh, to question that is it possible uh, do the land out, because there's a railway station uh, metro station just outside there is enough land to be there to build a proper football stadium uh who owns the stadium if it's need to renovate uh, will football delhi aff or the government need to renovate so if our private body can lease out that stadium is it any possibilities are been explored or uh, to bring that stadium to be you know uh, because we don't have any many football stadium in india and i can count these stadium in my fingers i am not sure even 10 proper football stadium in india and ambedkar been ambedkar hosting international games it have hosted fifa world cup qualifiers afc asian cup qualifiers in past so it has something with it you know so how much as a football delhi uh, president you have thought about these things taking football back to the old delhi thinking about ambedkar stadium making a base of football delhi or the other national team I mean, it's it, it provide provide lots of possibilities since since i have come in as president uh, i had several meetings made several representation uh, because this stadium is owned by municipality mcd of delhi mcd of delhi earlier now just few months back it was south delhi municipality now it's mcd and uh, the real owner is, are the municipalities and the stadium you know is strategically located because it's just metro is the do- on Next the door, door yeah and see the center of cricket in delhi is also it's close to like just next door and, again you know, Do- dr arun jetli stadium therefore the as per location is concerned and the connectivity is concerned you know it's like an european stadium just like manchester the, you know, you see old trafford and yes. cricket stadium just to each other you have a bus stand nearby you have a everything metro, is there everything is there So that but what it requires is you no know, it needs a complete renovation and the space is there if you think space yes, is enough space for space is there but how much how much if if money is put in right how many seater stadium we can get in yeah, see i think it can come up as a 22 22000 and uh, that's very decent yeah, and it's a football specific yes. stadium that's a totally different atmosphere compared to any other and stadium and you have seen you know like when india won the challenge cup yes the challenge cup and the kind of atmosphere and then uh, india hosted the nehru cup so no, it was like uh, capacity uh, and there were you know equal number were outside wanted to get in but then there are functional problems because you cannot host a uh, you know now official games there Well, it doesn't fulfill a uh, you know, lot of criteria. Broadcasting criteria. The broadcasting, media communication, even the even the dressing rooms, 
you know, and and then uh, the fans and uh, the players, everything get mixed. The teams, so you don't have the demarcation. So therefore, organizationally, it is a very challenging, and nobody can organize you now when you have alternatives. So what it needs to happen is, you know, I think government you know, they can do it. Have you, have, it, have you taken to the Amadmi Party government regarding this? No, thing? see, this is uh, Amadmi Party doesn't control the MCD. MCD. Yeah. So now it is the LG, which is the right uh, you know, office office to be you know uh, where I want to go and meet him because the new LG uh, he is very proactive. And I'm just waiting uh, for an opportunity to meet him. And this would be the my first plan. I've already, you know, I'm myself making that plan uh, where we have, you know, few things where we want to see how we can collaborate with DDA. He is the chairman of DDA as well. And uh, we want to see, you know, the infra part and also the development part. So we are working on it. I think my project plan should be ready within a week's time. Then we'll get his time, and hopefully, you know, if he gives us the time, uh, we'll be able to, you know, present that to him. Whereby we are seeing that you know, if this is completely renovated, uh, and with uh, maybe take two twenty four months, and uh, this can change, you know, the whole image of the. Of Delhi, because as well as the country. People are not program. aware. Uh, yeah. People sitting in Kerala, Northeast, and Goa, they are not aware of it. If Ambedkar Stadium hosts any decent quality football match, I am sure 10, 15 thousand people will just jump in just because the football match is going there. I have seen old Delhi, you know, people, people, even at any school, college game, people just come in because that's a football match going in. And when you talk about ISL or I League or even a uh, Indian team match, even youth team game, you will see people just without any marketing coming in. Uh, people don't also figure out Delhi is huge in terms of area. Jalen Stadium locality is totally different. There's not many people lives near Jalen Stadium. People have to come from very far. The connectivity is it's a major issue again. Jalen Stadium they have the metro station, but in terms of bus connectivity, everything it's not that convenient as the old Delhi uh, Ambedkar Stadium. Is there any possibility of uh, football Delhi leasing out the stadium for 99 years and controlling it and getting it private or public partnership, rebuilding it through sponsorship or naming rights? Is there any possibilities yeah. have been explored? Yeah, see, we, as I said, since I became the president, this was one of my objective to get this on lease. And we we have you know reached to a certain level, but then by the time we finish the mayor changes, you know, all that happens. And uh, it's a it's a, like we are like restarting every time. So now we uh, this is the fourth time we are going to approach in a certain way. We were maybe, maybe this time it's successful. Yeah, maybe because we have to keep trying. No, I, this is not the stadium is not getting used. It's the legacy which is getting destroyed. Yes. Uh, I'm sure if uh, the the person who's holding a position of LG itself have a responsible position, if he's been told about you know what was the stadium legacy and everything, I'm sure if if the sense is there, I think he should be able to give you guys the lease. And it's just a lease, right? They're not you're not asking to transfer the ownership. And I think once football Delhi can get it leased, are you confident of raising that amount of money to do construction in Delhi, uh, the capital of India? I think see because you have to demolish the complete stadium and do the uh, yeah see all the work. What I am you know in, in Delhi and uh, the the opportunity. What it is, it can be on a PPP model where yeah, that's government private, also public, yeah. funds certain thing, and then the private body also funds something. And that way, with naming right, you know, all that, uh, there's a huge potential of that location. And like, see, we have to see in fut futuristic point of view. I'm sure, you know, say it is just a matter of time. There will be a team in the top league in ISL from Delhi. And there will be more than one team from Delhi in the I League. Yeah, they all will be there. Yeah, therefore, the stadium will be used 365 days, and it will, you know, bring in uh, the fans and will change the culture. And and the competition is the key. And when you bring in the big competition, you need the right uh, infrastructure. And right now. Delhi's biggest challenge is that we don't have the right infrastructure. And if we can present that, so therefore you will see the investment coming into Delhi football will grow big. Because ISL team coming in, 
you know they see an opportunity being a oh, new stadium maybe a new team will invest in that stadium because you never know say yeah. uh, and apologize i might taking some time here because i'm very emotional about ambedkar stadium people will be also emotional if they watch a football game they don't understand you know how different is to, uh, to to see the football game at ambedkar and at jalan stadium delhi or any other football stadium in india uh of course the legacy of other stadiums but i'm sure uh not many football specific stadium in india who uh, who have hosted you know these many international games so i'm very emotional about ambedkar stadium and and i'm taking more time here uh, uh to see a possibility say if just in case lg agrees football delhi takes stadium under the lease somehow you guys get a any ppf model anything in two years time you will see a private body bidding for isl from delhi using that stadium as a oh, base the moment this you get a lease i am i am telling you they will not wait for the stadium to be ready they will come with that opportunity itself to invest in the stadium and bid for the and, team and then let, and let that me, should be the right strategy let, let me bring delhi dynamos here yes uh, the controversial part of delhi dynamos shifting from delhi to uh, uh, odisha bhubneshwar where they got tremendous a uh, support from the state government uh, that's one thing and there's also delhi dynamos fans hardcore fans of delhi who were disappointed with the move uh, i kept i went to jalan stadium various isl game there were not many crowd so they were they were they were they were fine with but i kept on saying to people they're not doing anything to connect with the real delhi people uh, do you think they could have taken an approach to get something because they said they tried for medkar stadium uh, on on record their uh, the owners Uh, but do you think they could have an extra effort to get the Ambedkar Stadium, or you feel if they were playing at Ambedkar Stadium, they would have not able wanted to shift the base to Bhubaneswar? See what uh, uh, I am, you know, if I was in their place, you know, I'll be always working for a ten to twelve year plan in Delhi, because you cannot think that you can. turn over something in 2 years 3 years and, and, and uh, the uh, major thing i'm yes. always 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 also uh, joke about is your the person who's taking decision setting in us is not aware of uh, what delhi f- or delhi legacy of football is all about and this is nothing against anybody but i just want to say these decisions are not made in this hurry that we change your basis you know they said we tried everything possible mm-hmm. for delhi football but nothing worked out no, see is i it- can tell you in terms of value in terms of investment delhi will pro- give you you know higher return on investment per dollar than what you get in any other city why it's a capital city of india yes. same like so bombay that, bombay so therefore know. your approach has to be long term if you think okay i am investing a dollar and uh, you know just after a minute i'll get uh, you know 2 dollar out of it you know, then it cannot work so in in football you know they would have stayed here 10 years i'm sure you know they would have got much bigger investment what they did is you know that's the problem we always looking for a short term gain than you know uh, the long term gains and the long term gain is what you have to look and in indian football you know nothing we can get in any aspect which is short term yeah short term see getting a stadium free you know is the least you want what you want exactly to build your brand such a way that you are the number one at the end and the number one decides by what you have the biggest fan base you know you have the biggest commercial success and at the end you will have a bigger performance and being a capital city club you know any across the world the capital city teams are the biggest brands why because you know the f- fans are much vocal you know and the brands want to connect Sponsorship with Sponsorship value is totally different yes, compared to and, Delhi, Bombay and, and then, other cities in India is totally different. This is a political power center and then also the media center and the financial center also. See the like 25 million people and they all want to see something you know big. So and why I, why could not they connect? Because you cannot connect in say over nine you can't do just come and yeah. i'm coming and you, you know i'm build. representing delhi see you have to have patience you you have to think okay this is what i want to achieve but i want i want to stay on the course yeah, for this many years and this is where the smallest milestones i want to achieve but then you will start comparing with manjapada kerala blasters or with 
यू नो मोहन बगान और ईस्ट बंगाल और विथ से बेंगलुरु एफ सी नो यू कॉन्ट डोंट कंपेयर यू नो एवरी दिस सिचुएशन इज स्पेसिफिक the demography is different it's it's, the, it's itself in a challenge as yes. it, as always said delhi is a mini india it's not something people need to understand and and uh, the statement of we tried everything it didn't work i think it was very lame statement if you ask me and very and uh, i'm not saying i don't belong to delhi i'm working here but i have seen uh, old delhi i have seen subroto cup in delhi i've seen the the nehru cup i've seen these these thing and i think uh, but i i am very emotional about ambedkar stadium and of course we will we will have another episode you can have on ambedkar stadium but i really hope uh, you keep us updated uh, and i will keep on pinging about whenever you meet the lg and hopefully uh football delhi get the uh, get some kind of right over that stadium uh it should be it it it's it's like a monument you know uh, if if uh kutub minar or gate of india or india gate are protected i think the the cooperages and the, the ambedkar the short lake stadiums the legacy of these stadiums should be protected uh it should not be just put in like anybody is coming uh, sardiyon mein dhoop sekhne ke liye aur log baith rahe hain i think wo us purpose ke liye wo stadium nahi bana tha so hopefully i think sense prevailed and you will get those and we'll talk about this uh i think this very this episode has been very big now hopefully i think we'll have to sit down and see that how we can put it maybe we'll put in a parts uh but we're very big big thank you to saji for joining here today at uh, kn tv studios uh and hopefully we'll see you again maybe in future uh to our fans don't forget you can listen to all our episode of the beyond the score podcast um, at your leisure on spotify itunes jio saavn gana and all other major platform including amazon music also also you can watch them on the video form on khelnaos youtube channel which is khelnao tv until the next time uh, this is your host ashish negi signing off thank you we'll see you again in the next episode